Okay, so this is going to be me tackling on the Venus Project. In actuality, it's just me tackling on the Zeitgeist Addendum. And I didn't really notice how popular that video is. I mean, three billion viewers, that has me a bit on the skeptical side. Nothing that popular really tends to be good. But, here's the thing, it's a two hour film, and the first 20 minutes, I couldn't agree any more than I did with what they said anymore they were just on the money about banks and money and economics from after those 20 minutes the next 20 minutes gets into something that seems like a conspiracy theory with economic assassin and politicians that are killed behind the scenes because they refuse to be bribed by the policing power that is the United States and it's a little weird. And I love how with the Venus Project, this is the one thing that I got skeptical of. And try to explain this to me because it could just be me being skeptical. How is it that the United States is using money to make itself the prime primary policing government, yet their purchasing power and purchasing power is a strong concept in this film although strong as in secondary the purchasing power is less than Europe it reminds me of those race and IQ conspiracies that whites are just making themselves the policing race yet Asians are of a higher aggregate score than them <clears throat> The purchasing power of the U.S. dollar doesn't match the euro. The euro's just that much stronger. But I could understand what they're saying. And it's not a conspiracy. See, it sounds like it because it has similar rhetorics. That's one thing that bothers me. When you use the rhetoric of conspiracy theories, even when you're not doing a conspiracy theory, but you're speaking about day-to-day -day operations that do happen, what happens is you get the same kind of idiots on your side. Not all these people are idiots. There's some smart people. It's mostly idiots. Then again, where won't can't you find a majority of idiots? I'm an idiot. I'm the biggest idiot of them all. Uh Now, one of the things that, and this is something, a view that I held, is that for fuel we need geothermal heating, and that that'd be very helpful. And I disagree, I think that with the Zeit guys say shit, they critique nuclear energy. If they critique it for the problems of uranium and plutonium react based reactors, when I think that nuclear is probably the best, especially liquid fluoride thorium reactors. They also advocate for solar, wind, and this other energy. I think it's based upon the waves and water and how it hits the shore. I forgot the name though. Now these are very inefficient to produce and they're also very dangerous to apply to homes and houses the kind of people who would apply it to your house these solar panels for your home these are guys that risk their lives this is a very dangerous job and the amount of that shit would be very inefficient to the environment Liquid fluoride thorium reactors are the best because they're so energy dense that 
Just this much will last you your entire life. Just this much. And it's more common, it's one of the most common things in the world. So there you go. Um, another thing that I have to critique is the fact that Fresco identifies energy, I mean not energy, that laws are merely reactions when people don't have the technology or the knowledge to solve an issue. That is to say, we ban drunk driving because we don't know how to deal with the problem, so we just say, okay, it's legal for you to get drunk and drive. And this is a little true. But again, it's false for one simple reason. Laws aren't made to incriminate or protect people. That's one of their variable reactions, but a lot of it's, it has nothing to do with it. A lot of laws are just protocols. And that's how a polycentric law would work. I think polycentric law would be much better than no laws. Because at least with polycentric laws, official protocols can be made from the bottom up and that's much better than hoping that technology would solve everything and it could solve everything but it isn't going to have the same protocol effect it isn't going to have the same effect where you're basically making a third party unbiased agreement and that's what polycentric law should be it's something that works from the bottom up as opposed to the law system, the legal system we have now that's top to bottom. One thing I, from the later part that I do agree with, is the fact that stuff is emergent, and there's symbiosis. I agree a lot of that with that shit. I also like their system of transportation that they advocate. That seems really cool. It seems so fast and efficient. I like it. It's, it's Jack Fresco showing that he has some plans. Cause at 4,000 miles per hour transportation, I hate going on airplanes. I think the airplanes with their constant turbulence and how slow and sluggish they feel, it makes me feel like I'm hung over whenever I'm on one. And that's not good. Some more shit that I disagree with. Now this is a complex political one. Now rarely does Jack Fresco ever mention the state. Part of the reason is, I, I think, for this being the case is that states are just so complex. He does mention government a lot. And the political system and all these other institutions. All the political system which has no real power over us. But the big thing he mentions is government and corporations. And how Corporations usually do the government's job for them, and they keep switching back and forth. Now, what is a corporation? It's not just a really big business. It's a body of government. It's the departments, if you will. Now, sometimes the departments do the work, the dirty work, while the body in general, or not the body, the whole structure, the system, takes the back seat and then switches. That's what happens when you have monocentric government. A monocentric government a variable result it's almost certain when you have a state 
this is the kind of shit that made religion bad because then we have the church system and the church system simply isn't good it's hierarchical and it creates a lot of disadvantages because of this we got the violent Islam advocacy and how the body of Christ is so much worse than what it could have been become this hierarchical thing The only difference is that when he, Fresco critiques religion, he critiques it for it, something which I find reasonable, and that's the morals of religion, that they're so out of context what they advocate. And there's so, and there's such an established concept. They're so top bottom. But that's not all religion, that's a church, that's state. You can, well it's not a state, but it's like a state, that's what I meant. You can get rid of that and still have religion and be okay. You just gotta make religion just like the Christians advocated with the body of Christ. In Christianity contrast to what most people say, gave birth to a lot of what John Locke advocated. It gave birth to the concept of rights, positive rights and negative rights, and the fact that individual souls matter. This is something that can be a non-sequitur. I think that bottom-up Christianity, the body of Christ, which Jesus Christ advocated in his gospel, one of the gospels, is this non-hierarchical thing where everybody participates. And this is what Fresco advocates. He advocates this participatory democracy. He practically advocates it. He just doesn't want this republic or representative democracy. Better ju just a republic. Now, I'm neutral to democracy now. Just like I'm neutral to monarchies now. And republics and all this other shit. But, I get it. And this is all I gotta say, really. I felt it a lot of what I feel from Fresco. All in all, he does say some interesting shit, but for the switch between corporations and government, needs to understand that corporations are bodies of government and that it's really the hand versus the systems the entities versus the systems and one of that's the state and the solution to government is to make it polycentric the solution to religion is to make it polycentric the solution to Laws make them polycentric. You do all this shit to churches, the states, all this other shit, that'll go down like a bitch. And that's what I feel from this guy. He rejects a lot. Kind of like me, I reject a lot of different concepts. But he rejects so much that he could replace with thinking from the bottom up instead of the top bottom and that's what he advocates for the most he advocates for symbiosis and a more emergent order which is order from the bottom up and that's how you get it you don't want establishment I don't want establishment leave establishment for the computers and all this other shit that doesn't apply to human interaction. Leave it for the ants. Even with the ants, it isn't as bad. Even with the ants, you could argue it doesn't exist. Just leave it.